right? I'm going to attempt to do this in Daniel's Hall, but it could be loud, so bear with me. Um, so first I'm going to talk about my impressions in Toronto. Um, so Toronto is pretty cool. I had been to Canada once, um, but I had been to Toronto before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect exactly. I assumed that it'd be a lot like the United States, which it was. Uh, when I got there, the city reminded me of places like New York or Chicago or like other uh, United States cities. Um, but overall, I thought Toronto was a really cool place. I felt like there's a lot to do there. People are pretty darn nice. Um, there's lots of restaurants, different restaurants. I noticed that a lot. There's a lot of variety of restaurants. Um, it's also some cool places to see, some cool sightseeing spots. And uh, overall, I thought the Toronto was pretty darn good, so I enjoyed it. Um, and I'd be down to go back eventually. Uh, so next time I'm gonna talk about my self-awareness of American. So, I think any place that you go, people are going to know you're American. I don't know how, but I swear it's like the way we dress, the way we talk, the way we act. Um, and I definitely saw it in Canada. People knew we were American just from looking at us. Um, I saw this in uh, the Chinese restaurant, for sure. Uh, I looked around, and everyone's just sitting in silence, kind of enjoying their meal, and we're sitting there just talking, at, like, super duper loud, and people could tell that we were American off the bat. Uh, also in the coffee restaurant, or the coffee place where we were getting coffee, that local walked in, he was like, so many damn tourists. Like, he knew we were American just as, as soon as he walked in. So, I mean, you, you got to be aware of that, and you got to um, kind of like try and fit into the society. They definitely acted a lot different than we did. Um, and overall, I think we did a pretty good job of fitting in, but there's definitely times where you could tell. And yeah, I apologize, it's kind of loud. I hear these people doing like laundry or something. Um, Impressions of the company visits and role of international business. So the company visits were pretty good. I didn't get to uh, see much of the first one, but I know from the building, the building was awesome. It was right in the middle of downtown. Um, from there, where we were talking, the view around was absolutely insane. And I think this was awesome because it gave me kind of a perspective of what it'd be like to work in a city. And that's definitely something that I want to do, work in, uh, in the middle of a city. It also gave me a perspective of what it's like uh, internationally, what it's like in Canada, specifically what it's like in Toronto. Um, the second one, uh, I don't even really know how I feel about it. We had to drive like an hour and a half to get there. The building was not very impressive. Um, I mean, we were talking in like a basement. It was just kind of like a casual building. Um, I didn't really know the company that well, and I didn't think that the presentation they used was very interesting. Um, I felt like they kind of just bored the heck out of people, uh, put some people to sleep. And, um, but I mean, they, they, they did like give you some perspective on what international business is like, which was good. But I overall, I liked the first uh, presentation, even though I didn't get to see much of it, uh, a lot more. Um, and overall, I thought it was pretty good, uh, just to get to a feel of what it's like over, um, in a different country. So, then I'm going to talk about my impressions of the group experience. I absolutely loved it. Like, honestly, such a fun time. Uh, lo like, lots of useful things came out of it. I think the biggest part for me was that going in, I really didn't know a lot of people. I barely knew everyone's names. And now coming out, I feel like I'm friends and I know everyone on a personal basis, uh, like everybody in the class. And I know everyone's names. I really got to know everyone. And I feel like we really bonded as a class going to this Toronto experience. So I was that was pretty exciting for me because I feel like I made a lot of new friends and I had a lot of fun and I got a lot out of it. And I feel like overall the just awesome experience i'd love to go back i mean we were already talking about potentially going back um so and i hope we can like i just want to stay friends with all the people that i met and i think this does a great job of just getting every and I would, I would recommend it to anybody that is a business fellow um and i wish other classes did this too, as well or other uh, organizations like fraternities or you know like any clubs you know i just i love the group experience um so create an action plan on how you will continue to increase your cultural intelligence while here at UC. So my plan overall is I would love to study abroad and I'm thinking about studying abroad. I already know I already talked to one of my best buds here uh, named Evan Campbell and we really want to um, 
we're talking about maybe going to Valencia, Spain for a semester, either to study abroad or to co-op abroad. Um, I took like five years of Spanish, so my Spanish is pretty good, but I'd love to like continue to use that. So that's why I chose Valencia, Spain, because I feel like I could use my Spanish as well. It's an awesome city and it's far and you get a lot of cultural um, intelligence from that and you get to you know just get yourself out there you know start to learn a, a little bit about what other cultures are like and i think that helps you in the long run it puts you in perspective of what you're living and what other people are living and that's my goal um and i would love to do that once maybe even twice um otherwise i outside of college or even um co-oping like just like going into different states you get a different culture, so that's another thing that I can do is co-op outside of Ohio. And um, and then after college, like, look to travel as much as possible because I think traveling has a lot of benefits, and I would love to continue to travel um, outside of college. So that's it. Those are my video. Thank you for bearing with the noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. And um, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Will Knox signing off.